be, to be followed by George Adam. Thank you, President Officer. I'd also like to start by thanking Anna Will Goldie for uh, bringing forward this debate. I think it's a great opportunity for us to highlight the excellent work being done by Street Stuff uh, and the impact it's having on young people across Renfrewshire. I know from speaking to young people in Renfrewshire and across uh, the west of Scotland that they, what they often want is, um, are things to do. I doubt there is a member in this chamber who has not spoken to a young person uh, who has complained about there not being enough um, things to do in their area. And what they want are things uh, that stop them from, from being bored. They want activities that are varied and engaging, and they want activities that are affordable and accessible. And that is why I believe Street Stuff is such a successful project in providing these things to thousands of young people between the ages of 10 and 18 in Renfrewshire. Um, each year. As we know, the project takes activities out into communities uh, where they would otherwise not be available, delivering for those hard to reach, disaffected young people throughout Renfrewshire. Uh, one of the reasons, and has been mentioned already, that the Street Stuff uh, project has proved to be successful is that variety of activities it offers, uh, which is vital when you are trying to keep young people engaged activities, including street football, youth gym sessions, interactive dance mats, DJ workshops and computer gaming, as uh, Annabel Goldie uh, mentioned earlier. And it's also important uh, that these a number of uh, mobile facilities, including a youth activity uh, bus, youth gym bus and a mobile youth activity unit. In fact, the only complaint I've had uh, ever heard about the street stuff, and it's not really a complaint but a compliment, is from people who would like it brought to their area as well. This is testament to how popular the project is and how highly it is regarded across Renfrewshire. A key aim of the project is to develop the social and interpersonal skills of young people uh, engaged in the project and to increase physical activity and promote active healthy lifestyle choices. These are all welcome and help to educate young people and encourage them to build on the skills they already have. The project also provides training and work experience to support young people into education and employment. And we've also heard um, one of the main aims of the project is, to, is for a sustainable reduction in antisocial behaviour and violence in our communities. And its, well, um, its success in achieving this is shown by the reduction in youth crime incidents across Renfrewshire, which has fallen significantly in recent years. And Annabelle Goldie mentioned that as well. While there is no doubt there's a number of factors that have contrib contributed to this, the positive impact street stuff is having uh, on local communities is clear. Um, it is important to recognise, as, as uh, Stuart McMillan has done so as well, that the project uh, has not stood still uh, since it was first launched, but has looked to improve and build on its success. In particular, the Kick and Collect uh, programme uh, that Annabel Goldie talked about and, and Stuart McMillan did, which was added in 2011. And I think we should thank St Mirren and other businesses who have provided uh, free tickets for this initiative. Uh, this is a great way to motivate young people to play an active role in improving their local communities. And um, I would I hope that that can be uh, rolled out across the country as well. President officer, I want to conclude by joining members in paying tribute to all those involved in the Street Stuff project for their fantastic work in our local communities. I would also like to thank Councillor Eddie Devine, uh, Stevie Gallagher, Angela Convoy, Fiona Walsh, Carol Ann Robertson at Renfrewshire Council, uh, local area committees and businesses for their invaluable financial support. Uh, and I want uh, to mention some of the project's partners, including Strathclyde Police, Strathclyde Fire and Rescue, Engage Renfrewshire, St Mirren FC and Greek Care College. Uh, Street Stuff relies on core funding and LEC funding. Any reduction in this would mean a direct reduction in the ser services the project is able to offer. So in these challenging financial times, I hope Street Stuff continues to receive the support necessary to ensure we continue to see young people in local communities and across Renfrewshire benefit from the project's excellent work. Thank you. And